Hey, this is Vic Dorfman, membership site expert. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can add this jazzy looking colored divider bar to your optimized press rows in your live editor pages. And I got this idea from the membermouse.com landing page. You can see that there's this really neat looking colored divider bar that sort of breaks up each of their rows. Well, they don't use it on every row, but every now and then they throw it in there and it adds a really nice visual touch. Now let me show you how to do this inside Optimize Press. The first thing you're going to do is open your live editor page. In this case, I'm editing my done for you membership site service page. Now once you've opened your live editor, navigate to page settings. Scroll down to where it says other scripts right here and scroll down to the bottom and if you have a field available then go ahead and select custom CSS and if you don't have a field available go ahead and click add new and it will bring up a new field and again make sure to select custom CSS now once you've done that I am going to provide you with the custom CSS just go ahead and look in this uh, in this videos description box to get this CSS and um, we're going to go ahead and copy this whole thing and paste it in that custom CSS field. Now you'll notice if you look, oops, wrong text file. You'll notice if you look at this text that I've defined a bottom color bar class, a top color bar class, and I've augmented the row class. And the reason for this is that the bottom color bar class will allow you to display the color divider at the bottom of your row elements and the color bar top will allow you to display it at the top. And the reason I added this last little bit here is because some optimized press elements by default add a margin to the bottom of rows which offsets the color bar and makes it look really weird so I've just added that as sort of an insurance policy. So you're gonna copy and paste that whole thing in your custom CSS field here and click update. Okay. Now, in this case, I would like to add a color bar right in between this white and purple row. So either at the top of the purple row or at the bottom of the white row. So let's just go ahead and do the bottom of the white row. And I'm going to go ahead and select Edit Row Options by clicking this little pencil icon. And I'm going to scroll down to Row CSS Class and type in color hyphen bar hyphen bottom and click update. Now I'd also like to add a color bar all the way at the bottom below my FAQ section in between, the F, in, in between this gray section and this white section. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the white section and this time I will define the row class as color hyphen bar hyphen top and click update. Now all you do is you click save and continue and once you refresh your live editor page you should now see the colored bars at the top and the bottom respectively. So let's just take a look and see if they appear. And as you can see, here is the colored bar, which I think is also a really nice way to start off your landing page because it just gives a little splash of color, catches the eye. And if we scroll to the very bottom, I should have a color bar right below my FAQ. And yes, here it is. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment here or uh, shoot me a message on victorfman.com.